As the chamber of the Demogorgon's lair opens, you step inside with great hesitance. A shadow grows on the wall behind you, swallowing you in the darkness. It grows near. What is it? Please don't be a Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. An army of Dragonites charge in the chamber! Oh. But wait, do you hear that? Boom. Boom! Oh man. It's the Demogorgon! Fireball him! Cut projection! Throw 13! Roll! Dang it! Go get it! Hey, Zach? Wait, what's going on? Okay. Um. What? Hello Sharks, welcome to another episode of The Bite. My name is Allie and... And I chose to talk first because I think I'm important. <sighs> really Selena, are we really doing this again? Then you can talk about the first segment. Now let's introduce you guys to one of the most important people on campus, Santiago Security Resource Officer. Ja Lopez, come on down. You do know this is not a live talk show, right? We're not. Oh then, let's just get on with the first segment. My name is John Lopez. I've been a police officer with the city of Corona for about 16 years now. My main function here is to make sure that the students and staff stay safe and also assist the assistant principals with disciplinary things that include law enforcement, things that go a little bit beyond uh, the education code. I grew up here in the city of Corona. I went to uh, Park Ridge and Rainey. I, both my parents spent some time in law enforcement. My mom, who was a very uh, inspirational to me. I wanted to be the SRO here at Santiago because it's, to me, the, the best rounded school we have here in the district. Uh, we don't focus on just one sport or one type of thing. Here at Santiago, they focus on the band, cheerleading dance, but also academics and athletics. It's something that's been important to me to have a well-rounded school that I get to work at rather than just run around in the only be into one thing, so. Thank you, Officer Lopez, for your service on campus. And they go in gorillas, hey? Ooh, is that Kanye West? It is. Now let's introduce you guys to Fashion News and their thoughts on Kanye's line. And I'm Maddie from Santiago's Fashion Art Department. And, and this, this is Fashion Forward, where today we're bringing New York City to the Circle City. This week we're reviewing the highlights and the lowlights from New York's Fashion Week, which has just come to a close. Many designers put out stellar designs, but our absolute favorites were Dulce & Gabbana and Prada. However, some designers, <laughs> Kanye West, put out some trash. <laughs> and we aren't the only ones who think this. Fall News called Kanye's line Fashion's Donald Trump, a New York Fashion Week total disaster. Remember, to quote Galliano, the joy of dressing is an art. You don't need these big designer labels to feel joyful about what you're wearing, so wear what makes you happy and confident. This, this has, has been, been Fashion Forward, bringing New York City to the Circle City. Well, you know what I won't be wearing tomorrow. Now, PTA is hosting a contest for the arts, so if you guys have any talents, feel free to express your unique flair. Dance is a way for me to express myself. It signifies who I am. I can tell my story without using any words. The art of film has always been an important aspect in my life. 
Being able to translate my memories, emotions, and ideas into a story that is visually enjoyable helps me express my story. Writing has always been my kind of escape. It's just so easy to switch off and pretend to be in a completely different world. And I found that my world is so much bigger on paper. I'm just who I want to be when I write. I'm memorable. Through photography, I feel as if I'm able to capture the emotions of the ones who I photograph whilst capturing the scenery in a moment of time. I have always seen photography as an opportunity to capture a specific moment and to be able to cherish that moment. For me, music has always been more than just a sound. It's a sense of being completely lost in my own private world that I never want to escape from. I use fashion to express my personality and aesthetic. The way you portray yourself through your style is the way people look at you. I fell in love with fashion because of the way I feel after making a garment. The satisfaction of making something someone can wear is so rewarding. This is my story. 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 What's yours? I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray. The day you walked away, you were the clock that was ticking in my home. Change my state. Wow, that really inspired me. Should I bust the beat right now? Um, how about we just move on? Okay, so now let's get on with Santiago's Night Live. Wait, I'm confused. Are we live or not? Santiago Night Live is a variety show like Saturday Night Live, but it was written by the students in Advanced Theater. And it's really cool because we all got to write our own little skits in it. And I think it's going to be gr really great and funny. And I hope you guys can all come and see. I absolutely love the show because it lets us all showcase like what we want to feel about the show and stuff like that. So we all get to act and write like things that we think are funnier that we want to act in. So I think it's really great. I'm excited. I'm actually really, really excited. I love doing these variety shows. I love um, when we get to perform something that we actually wrote because it means more to us. Santiago Night Live is a show that we actually wrote all ourselves and it's inspired by Saturday Night Live and it's kind of cute with the SNL like Santiago Saturday Night Live so um, we wrote the whole show. My favorite scene is definitely written by Sabrina Swangle and Ashley Berrigan and it is the OG grandmas. My favorite scene is definitely Bachelor Part 1 and Bachelor Part 2 written by me. I think it's really funny because it's making fun of The Bachelor so you guys should come and see. The show is October 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7 p.m. So a lot of you know about our upcoming event with Centennial and Roosevelt, the Fusion Dance. And let's not forget about the color run coming up on November 5th. Kyle is here to tell us more about it. Let's take a look. Hey Sharks, my name is Kyle, your ASB president, and I'm here to tell you about a new event we're introducing here at Santiago. It's called the Fusion One Dance, and it's a conjoined festival with Roosevelt and Centennial. It includes a dance floor with DJ Runaway and DJ Selecta, photo booths, henna artists, casino tables, video game trucks, rock walls, and all other sorts of fun. Tickets are on sale next week starting at $40, and you need a signed parent's permission slip at the Shark Shop to buy a ticket. So make sure you get that done so you can attend the event on January 13th of 2017. Also. Don't forget to sign up for Santiago's annual color run. It's on November 5th at Dos Lagos, and for $20, you get a color run t-shirt, your own packet of color, and you get to run a 5K. Two major events are coming up, Sharks. Don't miss out. Everyone get your pink out gear because the pink out game is coming our way. All right, let's move on to something that really matters. And here's a quick recap of what you guys might have missed at homecoming.
seniors, it's time to start getting that money for college. So here's some things you should know about FAFSA. Oh, attention senior sharks, we have some very important announcements brought to you by the counseling department. Seniors, the FAFSA application will now open October 1st rather than January 1st. As a helpful start, some of the things you will need are your social security card or alien registration number, tax returns, and bank statements. Students, you will also need forms from your parent or guardian. You can apply online on the FAFSA website at www.fafsa.ed.gov. Many colleges come here at Santiago to present everything about the campus, school requirements, and majors. And here are some of the upcoming college presentations. Boise State University, Wednesday, October 12th. Southern New Hampshire University, Wednesday, October 12th. Cal Poly Pomona, Thursday, October 13th. University of Laverne, Friday, October 14th. And lastly, seniors, the UC application portal opened August 1st, and the Cal State application opens October 1st. So don't forget, Sharks. Now back to you. Now it's time for Extra Announcements. Seniors, FAFSA applications are available now on fafsa.ed.gov. Seniors, UC apps are due on November 30th. Don't forget to eat at Chick-fil-A today for the Battle of Rimpa. Make sure you register for the color run. The deadline is October 20th. Pink out shirts are available in the Shark Shop for 10 bucks. Wear workout gear tomorrow as part of the Battle of Rimpa Spirit Week. It's about that time to read some tweets. The first tweet comes from Alejandro who tweeted, Can I be on the bite? I really need a new shirt or socks. Well, Alejandro, you're, you're on, on the bite. bite! Olive tweeted, the director's in charge of the award-winning boss hitting the dab. Selena, no, that's totally last year. Well, Emilio tweeted, the bite is terrible this year, winky face. What's that winky face mean, bro? And the winning tweet comes from Ashlyn, who tweeted about the TA's version of Jenga. That's some sick Jenga. We'll bring you some socks ASAP. And that's all we have for today, Sharks. Have a happy October and back to you, fourth period teachers.